have to remember everybody, what is our end game? The end game is we all want the same thing. We all want one thing, and that is to make it to heaven. We hope that our name is written in that book of life. We hope that when we're sitting in the judgment seat in front of Jesus, Jesus doesn't say, oh, you, I never knew you. But Lord, I did all these things in your name. And Jesus looks at you and says, I never knew you. We hope that's not us. We hope that we are not deceived. But the Bible talks about, in James, it talks about that there will be false teachers and there will be major deception in the last days. And we have to remember every single time we see something on the internet or we're doing a repost, where did this repost come from? Is this person a false prophet? Is this person a deceiver? And there's only one way to know. You have to take that post and whatever that person's saying, and you have to line it up with the Word of God. If that does not line up with the Word of God, you have to be out. You take a step back, like so many Republicans have from this administration. They've said, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we thought you were this and this, and at the beginning it was great. But you know what, now it's not lining up. It's not lining up with my word of God. Let me look this up. You, know, you can't find anything that, that can justify this behavior. If, if you do not feel in your conscience, in your heart of hearts, that your politics is lining up with the word of God, you have got to take a step back. Put your pride aside, because remember, what is your end game? Your end game isn't your pride, isn't your money, isn't your situation, your social situation, isn't how many likes you have on Facebook. Your end game is your salvation. And this new type of Republican, they have infiltrated our churches. They have changed our preachers into political demagogue, demagoguery, a little minor, minor tiny scale. They have changed the whole focus of what our churches are even talking about on a weekly basis. They're no longer talking about Jesus. You know, when I go to Sunday school, I wanna hear about Jesus. I don't wanna hear about politics. When I sit and listen to a pulpit preach, a, at the, a preacher preach at the pulpit, I wanna hear stories from the Bible. I wanna hear our hope. I wanna hear how we've got our salvation. That's what I wanna hear about. But we're hearing about politics. Jesus took that coin the, the, the disciples, they said, Jesus, it's time to pay our taxes. What are we going to do? And he, he, had a, he took a coin out of a fish's mouth, and he says, oh, look, see? Whose face is on that? It's the face of Caesar. Give back to Caesar what is his. This world is not our country, this, our country's world. This world belongs to Jesus. It belongs to God, and we are children of God. We are children of the light. It's time for us now to take a, take a step back and think about everything that you post and you repost. Does that line up with your beliefs? Stop compartmentalizing this. It's not okay to be nasty and ugly and hateful and, bigot and have bigotry and to hate your fellow man. It's not okay to think that your next door neighbor is as good as you are and that your neighbor down the street is a sinner, but you're not. That's not okay. That's not how Jesus set this thing up. We're all sinners. He died to save all of us. And it's time right now to take a step back and look at the word of God and read it and see what it says and compare that to what all these posts and all these people are saying on the internet.